Chokma, Sohol Shafat Shelby. Hi, my name is Shelby. A Yokpichi in the family farms. I'd like to welcome you to In the Family Farms. So the situation we are in today is Brian ordered some seed for to go into the three fields. Just a little background on who we are and what we're doing is um my name's Shelby, my husband's name's Brian, and we live on my great grandmother's original Indian allotment land. If you don't know what that is, I suggest you pause right here, go Google it, come back, I'll wait. Yes. So we feel very blessed that we have this land and that we get to be the current caretakers of it. Well, we um, had somebody that leased it for a long time. My dad and my grandfather have both passed away and so now it's on us to carry it on for the next generations and honestly I didn't learn as much as I should have from them and my husband didn't either because he's a city boy anybody that knew him 20 years ago would not believe that we'd be doing this but here we are because that's what life does sometimes and we instill in our kids that you know whenever we're gone they're the ones that have to carry it on it's been in our family for six generations um and so we've got to got to make sure that that stays and so with that it goes well how are we going to care for this land we have to find something that's going to heal her because there's been a lot there's just there's been a lot so you know we looked at regenerative ag um and it's something that we both really like and really want to um, do here and so we're taking the steps to do that. We um, had a long time lease with somebody that it had been started whenever my dad and my grandpa were still around. And um, we terminated that lease on good terms. Um, the man's still there to help us and everything's good on that. But we terminated that lease and we took this back as a family. And this is our first year farming. And this seed that you see us taking and putting in the barn and trying to figure out when we're going to plant it and then whatever happens from there because we're going to try and keep this vlog going to document for ourselves what's going on and also just if nothing else something that our kids and our grandkids can look back on and be like okay that's that's how they did it that's that's what we need to do because they're paying about as much attention as I did at that age and I don't want them to be in this position where they're like okay what do we do we gotta gotta figure out something so using the land to heal itself. I mean, Mother has been here before us and will be here after us. She knows best, so that's the route we're gonna take. And I ramble sometimes. I sometimes gotta cut myself off because I get to thinking about this place and it's just so special to me. And I can't wait to see what becomes of it. I'm gonna turn around where you can see that. My son going for his walk. That's our driveway. Brian at the top of the gate, our driveway, and then our house is way down there. That's how far they had to drag it. Okay, I'm sure by now I've had somebody explain exactly what seed we got from where and why. So here we are. Oh. About three wide. And we tried bringing it in with the tractor, but it was too heavy for our little tractor and our big tractor doesn't have, it doesn't have the forks, right? Yeah. So, <laughs> Brian and Easton drug it all the way down from the top of the hill, way up there somewhere all the way to here. And there's no way to get it in that way. So we're having to carry them in. So I've been told that they're they're 50 pounds, right? 50, 25. The boys say that they're not as heavy as concrete. They say that they're lighter than concrete. So I guess I'm fixing to find out because I gotta go help. See you in a minute. All right. 
right. Brian just carried in the last one. There's the tractor that we should have just got out. We had the forks. Three of that. 25 of that. Okay, so with all four of us working together, we got done unloading all of that in like 10 minutes, five, 10 minutes. It was nothing with all of us working together. And the bags were, they were lighter than uh, the concrete <laughs> uh, bags that we usually get for like putting poles in and stuff. They were lighter than that. So it wasn't that bad. Okay. And three bags. Them all in. Oh, the nitro. One, two, three. Yep. We got it, baby. Everything's bought, paid for in there. So, 40 acres, 20 acres, 10. We got it. I see which field they're going in now, too. Yep. And the two jugs of inoculant over there that we've got. We've got to make that do it. Right here, it's about the chainsaw stuff. The red jug. Okay, so now we've got the seed and we'll just have to see when we can plant it because Unless we just do like one field, there's no way we can get it done before we leave. So we'll see, it'll all work out. So we'll see you then, Chapisa Let's Show. Bye, thanks. Follow us, like us.